so he could hear from God. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen? And every so often I need, oh my God. I speak not by command, but by I am testing the sincerity of your love by the diligence of others. He says, for you know, tell somebody, uh, you, know, you, know. you know, tell somebody, you know. Oh, you just guys made confession this morning <laughs> that you know. Yeah. No, you know. Now you have no excuse. Now you have no reason that you didn't know, but now you know because you said you know. Amen? Do you know? Amen? He says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. Amen. What a blessing to know. What a blessing to know that God gave up his only begotten son. He hung on that cross for each and every one of us. We became rich. You know why? Because one day you're going to receive a true inheritance. Yeah. Bigger and better than anything here on this earth you could yeah. ever receive. Yeah. Yeah. That is the richness. But see, Christ had to become poor and hang on that cross in order for us to become rich. Yeah. And one day we're going to see that richness. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Pastor Bob, I need some money. <laughs> and get a job. <laughs> Go work for a living. Amen. 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 He says, For you know that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. And in this I give advice. I hope you guys are picking up on this. He wants to give some people some advice in this place. You know that you're never too old or too young to do anything in life? Huh? We're so quick to say, well, I can do all things through Christ, who gives me the strength through Christ Jesus. And then when the time comes to do it, well, I don't know if I can. <laughs> now you're doubting. Then your big butt gets in the way again. <laughs> then you start using if. Do you know that you're not supposed to use if and but? Huh? When you're praying and believing Amen. for God. Right. Amen. 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 Take it out of your words. Take it out of your vocabulary. Amen. Amen. I love verse 10. Look, and in this I give advice. It is to your advantage. No, it is to your advantage. Not only to be doing what you began. And were desiring to do a year of stop there and talk to you guys about something. Amen. What were you doing a year ago, this day, a year ago, and you should have done it a year ago and you haven't done it? Huh? What have, what have, have, you, have you done anything in the last year that you should have done a year ago and you're still thinking about doing it? Seriously, what, what do you plan on doing? Huh? What do you plan on doing for tomorrow? How many people are in, in retirement right now? Raise your hand. Did you plan for your retirement? No. I did. You could have, but you didn't. Why? I don't know why, but I know that I did. Amen? You could have done this a year ago. You should have planned for this because... Next year's coming. And if you haven't done nothing this year, next year's coming. And if you've done that next year, next year is coming. And pretty soon, Pastor, I say, well, when the check, when, when's the check coming? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Huh? I planned my retirement. I spelled it out. I laid it out. I wrote it out. And I told my wife, this is what we're doing. This is what we're going to do. You know why? Because I don't like to be in lack. You go, are you guys picking up on this? Yeah. I do not like to be or live in lack. Amen? Amen. It, it, it's hard. It's hard to live in lack. It's hard to live paycheck to paycheck, payday to payday. Amen? Amen. It's hard. I know been there, done that, but one day the light came on 
The Lord woke me up and he says, this is what you need to do, Pastor Bob, because there's something that's going to come ahead and I want you to get ready for that. Guess what? I'm ready. Me and my wife are ready. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm telling you people, what are you doing now that you should have done a year ago that you haven't done today? Look, I'm only giving you advice. I'm giving you what the Word of God is saying. Are you ready for next year? I'm ready for next year. No, I'm ready for next year. I'm serious. I'm ready for next year. I don't have to screw another light in. I don't have to set up another light or dig a trench. I'm ready for next year. And when next year comes, I'm going to be ready for the next two years and the next three years. Amen? Seriously. Because I have planned. I have planned our lives that we will not have lack. Been there, done that, people. Remember when we're living payday to payday. I didn't even know who Peter was. <laughs> <laughs> I was born from HFC. I was born from it, at, at financial. I was born from here to here. And one day I found Peter. <laughs> and Peter told me, are you tithing? Exactly. <laughs> then the light went on. And I'm an electrician. I should have known that, huh? <laughs> but in the spirit I didn't know that. Amen? Why? Because I used to procrastinate about everything. Well, I don't know, babe. And I think, oh, we get into this, this bind right here. A financial bind is ugly, people. It's an ugly thing to have in your life. Yes, it is. You know how hard it is to get out of a bind? Mm -hmm. huh? That's why they call it a bind. Because you're all bound up. Serious nothing better than to wake up in the mornings, people, to be at peace, to know that you got X amount of dollars put away, amen, and the money's still coming in, and you put a little bit of more away, and a little, every month, we're more comfortable. We're, we're not rich, but we're not poor, amen. and we don't lack, because God has been good. Amen. Why? Amen. Because I have not procrastinated about doing what I had to do a year ago. Amen. 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 And this is what the word of God is saying here. Look. And in this I give advice. It is to your advantage. Don't you want to have an advantage in life? Yeah. Huh? Don't you want to get ahead in life? Then get ahead in life. No one can do this for you but you. Right. Yes, I have faith. Then you have faith. Then keep doing it. Because it doesn't take much. Look, put a, just little by little by little by little by little. Pretty soon you're going to have all those little things. Gonna, it's going to be a lot. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And in this I give advice. It is to your advantage not only to do what you began and were designed to do a year ago. But now you must also complete of doing it. I can bet you something right now. There's people in here that should have done something last year that you haven't done it, and you're still in the same hole. You are. Guess what? You did it by choice. You did it by choice. I speak the truth in love here, people, because I want you guys to be set free. I want you guys to live in abundance because you can live in abundance. You can live the way God said we could live. I came to give you life, Amen. and I came to give it to you more what? Abundance. Abundant. I pray that you would prosper in all things, Amen. and also be in good health. Maybe not. Equal. All this stuff, all these promises are right here. Look, and nobody's taking the advice that God has given us in this book. Amen? Amen. Put your face in this book. Instead of Facebook. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And see what kind of an answer you get. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. Am I speaking truth here this morning? Amen. I'm glad that I'm back home. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm able to speak to some people that believe. Amen. Amen. Amen? I hope you run with this message. I hope that tomorrow morning when you wake up, you're going to wake up with a different mindset. That you're going to say, Pastor Bob said, no, I didn't say it. God did. I'm only giving you the message. Amen? Amen. 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 
He says, verse 11, he says, but now you also must complete the doing of it. Come on, you guys, quit holding back. Quit putting things off. Do the things that God has called you to do. Amen? Mm -hmm. That as there was a readiness to desire it, que no tienen ganas. Oh, what's all the Mexicans in here? <laughs> <laughs> Brother David, Cindy, uh, excuse me, I gotta speak to the Mexicans. <laughs> Betty, I gotta, all the white people that are in here. I gotta speak to the Mexicans. Que no tienen ganas. <laughs> no tienen ganas. <laughs> No tienen ganas. Amen. No, no tienen ganas. Amen. Then do it. Don't you have a desire? That's what I'm saying, Brother David. Don't you have a desire to do the things that you want to do in life? Huh? Man, it feels so good, man. Oh, my God, people. When, you, when you're out there and you're fulfilling your desires in life, oh, my God, what a good feeling. What a good feeling. What a good feeling. When those desires, oh my God, and the Lord said that He would even give you the desires right. of your life. But there you are procrastinating, thinking about this, thinking about that, when and where and how, Pastor Bob, I don't know, I don't know. And if you don't know, then who knows? <laughs> you just make confession early, he says, I know. Tell somebody I know. I know. <laughs> oh, that was earlier. See, you're paying attention. <laughs> You're hearing the shepherd's voice. Yeah. Yeah. Just like those dumb sheep got lost. <laughs> Amen? Amen? But now you also must complete the doing of it. That is, the, there was a readiness to desire it. So there also may be a completion out of what you have. Don't you want to complete? Hey, listen to me. Write it down. Like you said to half God, write down the vision. Yeah. Come on, write it down, write it down, yeah. write it down. Yeah. Go home after church or after you finish eating. Mm -hmm. Write it down. Don't go take a nap. Write it down. <laughs> Don't go take a nap because you're going to take a nap. After you finish eating, <laughs> you're going to go take a nap. I know, because we do it. <laughs> Amen? Go, go write it down, people. What do you want from God? What are your desires in life? What do you want to complete in life? Huh? Don't think about it anymore. Just do it. Amen? Quit procrastinating. Quit putting things off. That's all that's going to happen. You're going to put it on. You turn the switch off, the light goes on. You're in darkness again. Oh, I hope you guys pick up on that one. Amen? Amen. So there also may be a completion out of what you have. For if, it says if, there is a first willing mind, it is accepted according to what one has and not according to what he does not have. What do you want in life? No, seriously, what do you want in life? Ay, ay, ay. No, what do you want in life? How many people need finances right now? My God, look at all the people. Don't be embarrassed to say, I need finances, Lord. Amen? No, seriously. Seriously, you may need something other than finances. You may need restoration with somebody. Huh? You may need something else in restoration or finances. You may need your bodies to be healed. You may need something else. You know, you may be looking for a new job, a new house, a new car, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is. You know that God can make things happen in your life. Huh? But if you sit there and think about it, Instead of doing what God says to do, amen? 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 Just do it. No, don't claim yourself to be Nike, because you're not Nike. <laughs> amen? <laughs> For if there's a willing mind, it says, if you have a willing mind, you have a willing mind. Amen. Huh? Amen. How many people have a willing mind to do something? Amen. Oh, my God. Brother Mo, you know, este camarada aquí, this brother can make things happen with wood. Yeah. It's never too late, Mo. No. Yeah. Don't be afraid to step out and do what you got to do, brother. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Do what you got to do, Mo. Amen. Amen. You, want pro you want to prosper, Mo? Yes. Huh? You need prosperity in your life, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, then do what you got to do, brother. You got talent, ask God, open up the doors. Amen. Amen. 
Then people start calling me. I heard about you, Moses, that you're a good, you're good with wood. Amen. There's other people in here, Brother Bob, he paints, but he doesn't want to paint no more. <laughs> he doesn't have to. Amen. I'm an electrician by trade. I don't have to screw another light bulb on if I don't want to, but I do because the fruits are good. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's other people in here that have trades. There's other people in here that know what they're doing. Amen. Just go and do what you got to do. Quit procrastinating about it. Quit thinking about tomorrow. Amen. Like I said from the beginning, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added. We're thinking about seeking the righteousness of God. Just pray and believe. Yes. Amen. Yes. And be faithful to the things of God. Be obedient to the commandments of God. And God will see you through. I know that. I know that. I know. I know what I'm talking about. Amen. 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 Verse 13, it says, For I do not mean that others should be at ease and you burden." Do you guys know what that means right there? Huh? Look, for I do not mean that others should be at ease and you burden. You actually believe that somebody should come and put the burdens on you so they could be at ease? No. Huh? No. Pastor Bob, I need a thousand dollars. What happened to the other thousand you had from last month? Well, well, go back to the well. <laughs> Find out where you spent it. Yeah. Why should I? Why? Seriously, people. Seriously. You shouldn't be a burden to nobody. Right. Seriously, people. Think about this. Think about this before you say yes to anybody. Huh? They come and borrow money from you, and all of a sudden, there's a burden. And pretty soon, they're at ease. That's right. I'm well gusto. They're at ease. Well, I don't think so. They won't hurt it. My dad won't, won't go on. Well, I'll pay him the next month. Mm -hmm. Then the next month. And pretty soon you don't see the money anymore. Yeah. Right. Now it becomes a burden. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 It says, For I do not mean that others should be at ease and you burdened by equality. It says, Now, at this time, your abundance may supply their lack, that their abundance may also supply your lack. Pay me back if you want some money from me. Oh. Amen. That there may be equality, as is written, he who gathers much had nothing left over, and he who gathered little had no lack. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this is God saying this. I want to end with this. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, starting in verse 6, it says, But this I say, Amen. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also do what? Reap sparingly. And the Lord gave me this. Look, you have not, you give not, so you have not. Amen. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Amen. So let each one give as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves what? A cheerful giver. Be happy when it comes time. When Brother Bob or Daryl come up here and they start picking the offering and everything, why do you lack? Why is it that you... Why is it that... You know that... Well, I don't understand this. I don't know why people have a hard time giving what belongs to God. Right. Why? Why? You don't trust God? Well, wait a minute. You said you had faith. So if you have faith, you should trust God when it comes to your giving. Amen? Amen? No, seriously, I'm not here to pump you up so you can tithe more. Tithe if you want to. I don't care. You don't want to tithe, don't tithe. You don't want to give, don't give. I mean, no me importa. God's going to supply our needs. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. No, seriously, people. I'm, I'm trying to help some people. Quit procrastinating. Well, I don't know if I should write... I'm making a thousand. Should I give a hundred to the Lord? Should I give a hundred to the Lord? No, should I give a hundred to the Lord? You can't live on nine hundred bucks a week. Something's wrong. You better start doing this to your finances. Amen? You know that God will judge us at the end too? Huh? 
upon your measure, it will be measured back to you? Huh? Why do people have a hard time giving what belongs to God? No, why? Why? Come on. Nobody can answer that but you. So let each one give as he has purpose in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able. Tell God, tell somebody, God is able. God is able. No, God is able to make all grace. Yes. All, oh my God, people, can you imagine the grace that God can pour into your life? Huh? By just being faithful to God? What sort? This is not a mystery. I'm not reading anything out of context. I'm reading the word of Let he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of God has to say. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 And God is able to make all grace abound towards you. Do you know that you can have favor from God anywhere that you go? Anywhere that you go. God will give you favor. I don't care what it is. God will, oh my God, people. God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you will always have in all sufficiency. Amen. All. Amen. No, all. Oh, yes. Test me and see if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour out a blessing that you can't even contain or handle. Can you imagine that? Huh? God blessing you over and above because you were willing to obey his commandments and you were willing and God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you always have all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance oh my God to have an abundance for every good work amen Oh, seriously, as, as little as we are, and you guys hear me say this from time to time, there is no lack in this church. Amen. Every month, we're able to pay all the overhead. Look, all the overhead. Amen? And we don't get a paycheck. We didn't get into ministry to earn a paycheck. Amen? We do, it, we do this because we love the Lord. We do this because we, we, we believe, we believe, we believe. Oh my God, I wish you guys were in my shoes to see what God has done in our lives. Seriously, people. And, and, and you hold back what belongs to God, and you want to call yourself a cheerful giver? <laughs> Well, I gave. Let me see. I, I tell you, I'll be honest with you guys, and you guys have heard me say this. When I was an usher, no, when I was an usher at Abundant Living, I didn't want to be an usher. I didn't want to be an usher. 